Hey, hello, everybody, and welcome back to the show. Alrighty. Then, well, we spoke to this gentleman, and he had an awful lot to say. Uh, oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, his, his house is the one that's literally, like, floating in the air. What's up, homie? Uh, you really brought back the nectar of the gods? Then I have no choice. Now, you all must drink some of the nectar. Huh? Drink the nectar? Once the nectar enters your mouths, the god of light will accept you as one of us. You could just put the jar to your lips without really drinking. It's the symbolism, that's all. Or you could simply be on your way. We wouldn't mind at all, you know. <laughs> what the hell? Drink it, Justin. You could just put the bottle to your lips without drinking. Well, hmm, let's just pretend to drink it. Like this? Yes, the God of Light now regards you as one of us. However, however what? Please take my friendly advice and give up your plans. Toss away those unreasonable ideas. What's going on here? Unreasonable ideas? I heard from Rem that you want to cross the end of the world. To do that, you have to get out of the Misty Forest, endless though it seems. That's right. Doesn't the Mist Clearing Nut work for that? We would need something like that. Hmm, those nuts are very valuable. We've only got a few in the village. They can't just be given away so easily. Take my friendly advice, and do not attempt to cross it. Man, how stingy! <laughs> what the <heck>? Justin? <laughs> now all we're hearing is, please quit! Please don't do it. <laughs> Young man with the rude mouth. We are not being stingy. The mist clearing nuts are vitally important to us as residents of the Misty Forest. They are treasures that our ancestors received from the Akarians. Okay. The Akarians? He said... You mean the legends from the... Uh, the, the Akarian from... You mean the Akarians from the Angelo legend? <laughs> Sir, do you mean that the Angelo legends are told here in Luke? Please, we want to hear them all. Oh, well, I suppose it couldn't hurt to tell them. It'll take a while, though. According to an old tale from this village, in the distant past, the world was bathed in light. A glorious world. The Akarians were protected. They did not suffer old age or illness. It was a peaceful world, they say. Then, our ancestors stole the wings of the Akarians because they wanted to be Akarians too. But this was not a natural thing for people who had never had wings. And then those wings were attached to the backs of our ancestors. They turned back and blocked the sun from this village. Plants died first, then the animals. We almost lost our light of hope. What a horrible time that was. To keep the darkness from spreading, the Akarians built a huge wall around to shut around us to shut our world off from theirs. That wall. That's the end of the world. Yes, the wall meant that our ancestors were left with the world that remained on this side of the wall. The Akarians were nice enough to toss our ancestors some special nuts which can remove the darkness. Although the darkness was replaced by mist, we've since used these mist clearing nuts to light our way in the forest. Without the mist clearing nuts, even we Luke folk would not be able to go through the misty forest. Dang, eh? Wow, you got the nuts from the Akarians? Now I want one even more. <laughs> so what happened to the world on the other side of the wall? Today, the world on the other side is still a happy and peaceful place. They say that when we die, our souls return to the other side, to the ancient land of happiness. Hmm, what a mysterious legend. So, are you folks really serious about climbing that wall? Please take my advice, and don't do it. No one has ever returned from there. Please rest, at least for today. You may stay at Rem's house. Rem's parents would like to thank you for rescuing their son. Okay. I'm dead tired. How about you, Justin? Huh, yeah. Anyway, let's rest up for today. Please go to Rem's house now. Rem's parents are awaiting you. Please take it easy and rest a while. You got it, Top. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, that is this house. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's, there's a stash of rowdy place in here. Oh, so you got his permission? That means you can be our guests now. Please make yourselves at home. We are very grateful for what you've done for Rem. Still, we need to think of a proper punishment for Rem since he broke the law of the village. Oh, true, eh? He, like, uh, they're not supposed to leave the village or whatever. Yeah. 
y'all. Alright, so let's, uh, stashy, 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 stashy. <laughs> oh yeah, that missed whip, eh? We totally forgot to check that stashy, stashy. Didn't we get an extra res up potion? One. Yeah, he has two. Let's stash you one. Let's go ahead and ch -ch -ch check out that mist whip. Ah, well, wait. Let's check her moves first. Thirteen and six. She does need a new whip. Eh? Let's go ahead and. Uh... Oh, it's the same attack strength. Plus twenty attack. Good on nebulous monsters. Whatever the hell that means. Okay. Alright, so Fina's got the Mist Whip equipped now. Let's go ahead and stashy away uh, the knife that she had. There we go. Ren! You see, my dad, he, he's kind of scary. <laughs> What's the punishment? He doesn't whip you, does he? <laughs> no, nothing like that. <laughs> you see, my dad, he's... Uh, okay. I guess we talked to the mom. Did you finish talking with the village chief? It won't be easy traveling to the end of the world. After all you've done for Rem, the least we can do is offer you a meal and a place to stay tonight, okay? Oh, nice. Eat and stay overnight. Do not stay overnight. Oh, so this is like technically a hotel then. So let's have dinner. Good. <laughs> you should eat to help get back your strength for traveling. I've fixed a nice big meal as a token of my gratitude for rescuing Rem, sweet. Oh boy, my mom's cooking is the best. <laughs> Do we get to eat dinner with Rem's family? <laughs> That'd be sick. Ah, it's just the three of us. <laughs> that village chief is so pessimistic, huh, Fina? <laughs> yeah, he certainly wasn't supportive of what we're doing, but he must think about his own position. He can't help bearing the final responsibility. We should be thankful that he even let us stay in the village. True that. Puff, 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 puff! <laughs> okay, Puffy, don't get so excited. It's alright. Here, you can have some, too. I understand why Puffy makes such a fuss. Rem's mother cooks up some delicious food. <laughs> I just love this pie. It reminds me of Aunt Lily's cooking, eh, Justin? <laughs> we should be thankful that he let us stay in the village, but we're not equipped to cross through the misty forest. Oh, what could we do? Is she really done the conversation already? <laughs> Puff, chew! <laughs> Oh, what are you doing, Puffy? You know better than to sneeze when your mouth is full, really. Puffy's got a runny nose now. Maybe he caught a chill in that mist. <laughs> Don't ever sneeze when your mouth is full, okay, Puffy? Puff, chew. <laughs> Alright, so she's done talking. She's done talking. That mist in the misty forest has made our clothing all wet. I can't wait to talk, take a hot bath. Sure, I'll join you, Fina, but no peeking, Justin. Or maybe Justin would like to join us in the bath. Ugh. Oh, uh, well, uh, if you, uh, just kidding, Justin. <laughs> Boy, Justin, <laughs> just believe whatever people say. <laughs> Justin's like, ah. Uh... <laughs> Uh-oh. Colonel, we found them. To the northwest, there is a humanoid village at Bering 1-0. The platoon trailing the humanoid child has also reported that the forest's mist is clearing. All according to plan, Colonel. Don't forget that our objective is to obtain what we spoke of. We've just begun. Prepare to effect personnel drop. Yes, sir. With permission, sir. Personnel drop? Are they going to attack Luke Village? Lieutenant Lean, you will be in command. Yes, Colonel. We shall obtain the last piece without fail, sir. Oh, Lean is not playing games anymore. Dang. It is you who will be able to feel its presence. Find it! Yes, sir! Oh, yeah, they're not playing games today. Oh, no, are they going to attack Luke Village, yo? These people can't defend against the military. Oh, no, they are, too. These people have probably, like, never even seen an airship in their life before. Goddamn, the Colonel's ship... What the hell, man? What was that sound? It sounded like, kind of like a train's locomotive. Uh-oh. It also seems that the sound is getting louder. What the heck is that? I saw it from the window. It's some huge black thing that's floating across the sky. I saw soldiers like the ones who took me away. Lots of them came out of that thing and ran into the mountains. The Darlow forces. But how did they find out where Luke Village is? I was wondering that myself. Anyway, let's go have a look. 
I don't know why. Oh man, did he show up with uh, that big ass ship? Oh no, Chief, some people are going to the God of Light Mountain. They're going to steal the icon. Oh hell no. What do we do, Chief? Yeah, an icon protects our village. If they steal it, our village is kaput. <laughs> Freaking hiccups, man. If that icon gets stolen, then, then I don't know what we'll do. Oh, Chief, <laughs> it's times like these when we need your wisdom the most. First, everyone, just calm down. Now, we have no choice but to fight to protect our icon. However, we have been living all by ourselves here in Luke Village. We've never fought any battles before. So even if we do fight this time, chances are we'll all be killed. Oh, this is not an easy decision. Don't worry, Home Slice. Yeah, Chief, let us handle this. If they're Garlisle's Garl soldiers, we know we can drive them off. Uh, just wait a minute, Justin. Justin, are you okay? Uh, why did you have to volunteer us? No one in this village knows how to fight, so the only other option is for us to handle this. That's why. Yeah. Besides, aren't we Rem's friends? Rem's home village is facing a crisis, right? So of course we must do what we can. You're damn right. Friends? You're right. We are Rem's friends. Okay, let's chase those rude dudes away. <laughs> oh, what brave youngsters you are. You'll fight to save this village? We must ask you to do what you can to protect our secret icon, our God of Light statue. Just leave it to us. Okay, gang, let's get moving. Aw, uh, yeah. I don't know where we are. Okay, so that's across to the chief's house. Get a wee cover. Okay, yeah, they're trying to steal that crazy looking uh, thing on the top of the statue, or on the top of the uh, mountain. The statue on the top of the mountain. God damn it, mouth. <laughs> Hey, I've been ordered to stop anyone from entering here. I'll use force if necessary. Oh, yo. Bring it on, home slice. Huh. Oh, yeah, you can. Huh, 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 all you want. Oh, we're not playing games today. Slice and carve! Slice and carve! Oh, wow, they are pretty strong, to be fair. <laughs> Let's actually, uh, fire away. Huh, 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 huh. <laughs> oh, you guys. Ooh, get it. Now I'm really angry. Oh, that is so brutal. I don't think we've ever seen Fina with wit before. I'm pretty sure we've had her with, uh, the dagger ever since the beginning of the game. Axe level up for Justin. Get it, son. Drop! Oh, that was sick. Not bad, eh? Hell yeah, that's sick, man. He's just like, what? <laughs> Damn. Get yourself wrecked. Yeah, we'll save our MP, because I have a feeling there's going to be a boss fight at the top of this. Oh, what a mess. Our glorious Garlisle soldiers. <laughs> oh, man, there's more. No one, and I mean no one, may pass through here, and I'll stop anyone and everyone. Oh yeah? You won't stop us, my friend. That you will not. All day, my friend. Oh, oh man, that is rough. Get Justin to begin working on that one. Clock, 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 clock. Yeah, that's right, armor blockage. You are dead, my friend. Chop. Oh, man. Oof. You, my friend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, tough guy. And if you survive that, my friend. Ooh, yeah, that's what you get from messing with my suit. Cha, cha. Oh man, is that ever rough? I love the. Not bad, eh? <laughs> that's a really good sound effect. Uh, these guys don't drop uh, a whole ton of uh, gold. What a fool! Why did I do it? What a mess! <laughs> Oh man, they're like every two inches here. What are the rest of them doing? Can't they stop you brats from passing through? 
No, they cannot. You don't know what kind of brats we are, my friend. <laughs> You'll find out today. Face Lash! Face Lash! Oh, he's doing a speciality move. We're gonna give him a puffy kick to slow his IP really bad. <coughs> Allow Justin to catch up. Yes. No wave cut for you, sir. <laughs> Level up. Get it. Yeah, I'm just gonna do skills and normal attacks to save MP because I, I have a strong feeling that we're gonna be facing a boss at the end of this. Oh no, he put lean in charge, eh? Sergeant, do your job quickly. Oh, we might have to fight the three girls here. That's what I'm thinking. Aren't you from Parm? What are you doing here? You don't look like you're willing to cooperate with us. Oh, buddy. You have no idea, my friend. We are not cooperating at all. <laughs> Alright. Sue to attack. Oh, Para Whip is already working on the second star. Very, very nice. Oof, man, that is such an awesome sound effect. Oh, and it, it legit, it does paralyze them. Paralyze does work, uh, wear off after a few seconds, but... Oh, oh, oh man, it's fast, too. Her whip is really fast. Oh, get it. Let's see what the critical hit looks like. Oh! Brutal. Dang, I really like the her whip in this game. That is friggin' awesome. That makes a wicked noise, man. They got some good sound effects for her whip. Now why would Parmeans be, be, allied, be allied with the humanoids? Oh my god, how many... I hope it's not like this all the way up the damn mountain. This video is gonna be like friggin'... <laughs> it's gonna be like six episodes just to get to the top. My orders are to regard anyone who comes here as an enemy. Prepare to fight. Oh yeah? I've already regarded all of you as my enemy for being here, my friend. So you prepare to fight. <laughs> Love it. Now I'm really <laughs> Alfina's getting real close to a level up. Like, two or three fights with these guys. Oh my god. We must get the final piece to him! Final piece of what? Okay, there's no more. Heck yeah. Uh, this way. And then it was this way. Uh, and then this way. I think, I hope. Oh yeah, and then we round this wall, follow the wall, follow the wall, follow the wall. Excellent. Wall. <laughs> More wall. <laughs> there you go. The secrets to navigating Grandia. <laughs> right there, man. Just follow the damn wall. <laughs> following, following the path, following path. Oh, yeah, here we go. Look, Justin, the god of light. 
Oh no, it's Lean. Oh, please tell me we don't have to fight Lean. I'm freaking terrified. Oh, from the air? Those creeps, they're hauling away the statue. We've got to stop them. Wait, give that statue back. Justin, what are you doing here? Oh, you're the one who hit me back at the base. Justin, why did you come here? Oh, Fina! Sis? Oh no. Lean, is that really you? I had a feeling Lean was uh, her sister. Fina. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> Fina, you called her sis. Is this your sister? Lean, it is you. Why are you doing such a thing? Fina, I war I wanted you to be the last person to know about this. The fact is, I'm a Garlisle soldier. Lieutenant Lean of the Mullen Division. Oh yeah, she's not playing games. At this time, the statue is being confiscated for a military arts going by itself. Please. Goodbye, Fina. Don't go near the forces again. I don't want you to get hurt. Yeah, it's going by itself. Lean, wait! Why are you doing this? Oh no, the God of Light! I won't let you do it! Here goes! <laughs> Justin! Get back to Statue Lee! It belongs to Luke Village! Oh, are we gonna get a one-on-one -on -one fight? Why didn't you take me and just run away? After all the risk I took in letting you escape from the frontline base! Yeah, I knew it. Stop the planning and get back to the statue! Sorry, I can't do that. I've got to take the statue back. The owner of the Mullen Division is at stake. Get off the Spirit Stone. The Spirit Stone? That's a Spirit Stone? Don't make me force you off. I can't let you follow up our plans anymore. Oh, damn. Wait, why did you call it a Spirit Stone? Huh? What's that? Oh, no. Justin's Spirit Stone is reacting to the other Spirit Stone. This light is... Oh no! Justin! That light's from the Spirit Stone. Wow, so that's what happens. Lean's such a cutie. I love Lean. Okay, thank God we didn't have to fight her there. <laughs> Lean scares me more than Colonel Mullen. <laughs> or even General Ball, man. I don't want to fight Lean at all. So I'm to understand that it is Justin who had the Spirit Stone. Yes, sir. There's no mistaking it. That light could not have come could not have come from the statue. It was from Justin. Please, Colonel, give me one more chance. This time I won't fail. It's too late. The mist of the forest has begun to close again. But Colonel, I could I I could get it in time. That is an order, Lieutenant. Oof. You sacrifice yourself too much. Be more cautious. Yes, Colonel Mullen. I understand. Uh, that boy, Justin. I'll get him. I'll get him myself! Oh, shit. Okay, now I'm a little bit scared of Colonel Mullen. <laughs> oh, oh. Justin! Justin, are you okay? You made such a loud noise when you fell. <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, my rear is just a little sore. <laughs> but I wonder, can I break the God of Light? Looks like most of it was taken away. I promised I would protect it, and I'm afraid I let down the whole village. Better gather up the pieces. I'll help you, Justin. We'll make a sincere apology to the village chief. Hey, man. Justin was doing what he could, you know? Without Justin, man, they, they would've just taken the whole damn thing, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you're here safe and sound. My, what a relief. I must apologize, chief. I tried to retrieve the statue, but as you can see, it was broken. Yeah, see, we at least we got like half. We, I, you know, we still got half of it, right? I thought that the other piece just fell off into nowhere and they carried away the other piece, you know? Not even half of it remains. The God of Light statue is a broken mess now. No, it's not. It's okay the way it is. No matter how it ended, the fact is that you fought for Luke Village. And for that, you have our utmost thanks. Yeah, exactly. As a thank you gift, please accept this. Oh, please be some kind of magical sword or something. Oh, the mist clearing that! That's on time! See, I can remember this happening. Like, I kind of remember having an item, mist clearing that, and you have to use it. <clears throat> okay. Really? Are you sure we can have this, Chief? But, Chief, sir, you said that mist clearing nuts are very valuable, and not to just be given to outsiders. For a long, long time, we've hidden behind a wall of mist in this forest, cut off from the world. However, by doing that, we've not had contact with great people like you. That has not been a wise policy. 
Now, when I think about it, the mist has enshrouded both Luke Village and the hearts of us villagers. We must learn to turn our eyes outwards to the outside world, as you do. It may take a while for us to do it. By the time Rem and the other children become adults, I'm sure we will come to know and understand outsiders. Yeah, man, that's the way. Hey, I understand them even now. Justin and I have already made a friend-to-friend -friend promise, eh, Justin? Yeah, yes we did. My, that's good to hear. Justin, I want you and your friends to know you'll always be welcome here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Clicking, I'm clicking. <laughs> So you guys are going to go across the misty forest to the end of the world? I'll miss you guys a lot. Rem. I want to be an adventurer when I grow up, just like you guys. Justin, I'll pro I promise you I'll become an adventurer. I'll cross the misty forest and even the end of the world. You bet, Rem. And we'll be waiting for you on the other side of the end of the world. Hell yeah. We've been shut off from the people such as you. This village must become more open to the world. It may take some time, but I think everyone will agree to this eventually. We'll do our best to help. We hope you'll achieve this new goal. Yeah. Luke is protected by mist. We mustn't leave until the mist has cleared. At least that's what we thought. Has the mist been protecting us, or have we just been simply hiding in it? I suspect we're guilty of the latter. Now we must seek a new way. We must find a way to live with the mist being... Without the m being... <laughs> we must find a way to live with the mist without being dependent on it. Ooh, there's some good tongue twisters to read in this game, that's for sure. Like, really good uh, uh, writing in this game, for sure, man. They use some really proper wording and grammar and stuff, like, 100%. We thank you deeply for protecting our god of light. If it weren't for you, we'd... Huh? But we... You're thinking, but we broke it. If it weren't for you, the whole statue would have been taken away. Yeah, exactly, man, just like I said. We have you to thank for what remains of it. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thanks to you, Luke Village is still protected. But we were only able to bring back about half of the statue. That's alright. If it weren't for your efforts, not only the God of Light statue, but we too would have been hurt. Yeah, man, the Garlaw forces, man, they, they don't really, you know, they don't really take no prisoners, you know what I'm saying? They just kind of come in, wreck shit, do what they want, and leave. We're indebted to you for protecting our God of Light. Thank you so much. And we are grateful for the precious mist-clearing nut that you so kindly bestowed upon us. Oh, uh, we're, we're kind of in shit, though, because General Mullen... General Mullen's not really, like, liking Justin anymore, you know? General Mullen used to like Justin because Justin, I guess, sort of reminds him of himself when he was younger, I guess. You know, there's, like, that camaraderie between the two of them, but now Justin, like, you know... Justin's kind of crossed him one too many times, I guess. The Colonel's kind of hot enough, you know? So, anyways, man, that is going to be the end of the episode here today, you guys. I want to thank you so much for coming out and watching this episode of Grandio with me here today. I freaking love this game, you guys. I absolutely adore this game. What a touching moment there, saving the uh, Luke Village, uh, Rem and all of his people, allowing them to live in peace and harmony once again, and open their minds to different ways of thinking, and you know what I mean? What a cool episode, you guys. Anyways, man, that, uh, you know, <laughs> other than that, <laughs> I'm like stuck on what the hell I was trying to say there, man. There's a lot of reading in this episode. Blech, my, uh, my mouth is like, uh, upside down right now. Uh, anyways, man, uh, <laughs> I wish you guys the best, and I hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day. Be sure to tune in for the very next episode where I will see you there very next. Man, bye-bye, you guys. <laughs>